Welcome back, everybody, to this Madden 23 Detroit Lions franchise. And I just wanted to thank everybody once again for such great support. Thank you so much. To everybody new out there, get ready for more franchise content. Just continue to hit that like button and thank you once again. So we're going to go into week number four, taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Right now they're 0-3. We're coming off an absolute beatdown of the Vikings. I mean, we got absolutely destroyed. Just pretty much outclassed, outmatched. And you can show that we're still well behind for sure. But let's get into scouting here. I wanted to check out the quarterbacks. Um, Derek Goff, I mean, I don't think he's going to be in our future plans. That's for sure. So I wanted to see what we have in the quarterback class. And it does not look good. There's only one top five. And there's only one of the guy maybe projected even in the first round. And that's it. So let's take a look at Ross Mitchell. Top five projection at the moment. So let's take a look at his player notes. You got the player profile here. So player notes, whether the window is open or closed, he's slinging it, beautiful spiral, pressure doesn't freeze him, does do well to avoid sacks. And fast, nearly perfect. So you can see his acceleration. He's more of a pocket guy. I don't know what I want to go with right now. I mean, obviously... You got to have, I guess, some sort of guy with some movement, especially this day and age in the NFL. I don't know if a pocket passer is going to work. I mean, look at all the successful quarterbacks. You got Patrick Mahomes. He can move in the pocket. Josh Allen. He can definitely move. Even Joe Burrow can move. Lamar Jackson. All these guys can move. There is not really a much of a pocket passer anymore. So you got to have somebody that's willing to move. Now, here's a guy that looks like he does have some. Um, beautiful spire loves to run play outside the structure uh, does well to avoid sacks throwing the ball away so I think he could be a chance as Kirk Bray but you know at the projection he is is that somebody you want to go with going forward you know we're looking for a, a, a top five guy really I think right now who knows what happens going forward with the rest of the season but there's a good chance that we're going to be picking in the top five in the draft but I'm telling you what I'm not going to force a quarterback if there's not a quarterback there. If I'm not interested in one of those guys, which right now it's not looking good, I don't think I'm going to force myself into a quarterback decision. We might go through free agency and possibly you know, look to next year's draft. That's possibly what we could do. Do we stick with golf? I don't think we will. I think we'll, in the end, go with somebody else through probably free agency or even a trade. Maybe there's somebody out there that we could definitely trade for and bring over here give themselves a shot to be the quarterback here but right now it looks like with the two first rounds two first round picks we have i think we're definitely going to go in another direction because quarterback just doesn't look like it's it this draft class is weak for that cornerback though that's something we definitely want to see i think okuda has been decent this year here so far so that's good to see but my mani awarie has been not very good and obviously the depth after that is not good at all. So once again, this day and age, you need guys that can cover. So I think in the back end, the secondary, especially at the cornerback position, definitely guys that we need for sure. And I think we'll look at that at the draft. And there's definitely talent there. So let's get into the game plan focus here for this week so right now defending the deep pass looks like it's going to be it you can see the rating looking very good man he is having a very good uh season here so far drew lock coming over from denver it is going to be weird playing the seahawks without russell wilson for our defensive or our offensive game plan it says blitz counter at the moment but i think i want to run inside get that running game going work the play action off there with golf that's where he's at his best as for focus players, let's take off Jamison Williams because he'll definitely get plenty of XP. Let's go Melifonwu. He's been playing outstanding this year. So we can get him more XP. That would be fantastic. Weekly game playing goal, get one interception. And let's head into this ball game here in week number four. You know what? I think this is, it's not really a must win, but I think we should definitely be the favorites coming into this ball game to get a victory. I know last week was... You know, a complete beatdown, but we should win this. We're at home. We're taking a team that hasn't won yet all season. I think we go out there. Let's get this a victory. We'll go to 2-2, two and two, look a little better. Let's get this one done. Let's get into week number four. Here we go as we will receive the ball first. Lee Freeman around the 2-3 to three yard line. Good return. Actually, some decent blocking. He's up to the 32-yard line. Usually, I'm so used to starting around the 23, maybe 22-yard line. 
Not here. Let's get this one going. Second and 12. Golf dropping back to throw over the middle, and that one's going to be knocked away incomplete. Just not enough there. And that brings up a quick third down. Third and 12. Just a four-man rush, and it's going to get to Golf. He can't get rid of the ball in time. Man, not what you want to see at all. That was a terrible first drive. As here comes Drew Locke. He's having, yeah, pretty good season. Five touchdowns, no picks. I mean, not biggest yardage, but... I mean, they're, they are 0-3, but he's playing not too bad. As here is a nice play in the backfield. Rodrigo getting through there. He makes the nice stop, and that is going to be no gain. Kenneth Walker in the backfield, rookie from Michigan State. Actually, I think he could be a pretty good running back as he makes a great spoon move there, picks up 17 yards, and he's up to the 38-yard line. Oh, he's getting in with the Jared Davis there on the sideline. Yeah, I like Kenneth Walker. I think he could be a very good running back. For Seattle, which I would guess this year is going to rely on that running game. As that's T.Y. Hilton with the catch. And he's up to the 34-yard line and has a first down. So first and 10 now from the 34. Lock looking. He's going to run out of time. Romeo Okwara back there for the sack. It's going to knock him all the way back to the 43-yard line. We need pressure like that more often. Third and nine. Lock looking. Firing. Caught. Noah Fant. Man, I don't know. I was hitting I was hitting the swap button all day. It just was not working. That's why there was the late dive lunge from Deshaun Elliott. I thought for sure I was there. Maybe just because he wasn't looking. Yeah, he wasn't looking. Just the back shoulder throw. And then you can see that terrible dive because you're spamming the swap button. Does not work out at all. So first down, Seattle now down to the seven. Second and five. Lock looking underneath. Caught Tyler Lockett for the catch. He picks up around four. They're driving here. They're moving down to the three. Third and two. We have a chance to stop them, but they have a chance to pick up the first down. Back of the end zone. Nice play. Knocking that one away. Incomplete. So we'll at least hold them to three. Three-nothing ball game, but we got to shore some things up defensively. They kind of just went straight down the field on us. Even with a sack, you know, knocked it back, they picked it up easily. Third and four. Can this offense get their first first down? Catch. Amon Ra St. Brown, and that's exactly what we're going to get. First down up to the 33-yard line. We can move the chains. Play action. Goff looking in the pocket. Plenty of time. Wide open is Hawk. He's got the catch. He's up to the 42-yard line first down. I'm telling you, the play action game is where we have to get this going. And obviously, you can't really play action if you can't run the ball. But DeAndre Swift with a great cutback, using the speed, breaks off the tackle. That's what you want to see. But that's not what you want to see is Jonah Jackson's down. Frank Ragnall's already out, so now Jonah Jackson goes down. So that is not at all what you want to see with our offensive line. He has a strained forearm. He will return. So that is good to see. Third down and one from the 12. Williams in the backfield, and he is just going to be stuffed. Lyman getting pushed down, but you know what? Fourth and two. We're, we're going to go for it. We're not going to settle for this. Let's get this first down. Swift in the backfield. Hand him the ball, and he is going to be stopped short. And the Seahawks line holds, and we get nothing out of it. And they'll take the ball over here at the 18th. Second and three. That's nice defense. Nice pursuit, not allowing Kenneth Walker there to get to the outside. That's a stop loss and brings up a third down and five. Let's bring some heat here at Locke. We're bringing it, and he's going to fire it. Tyler Lockett beats Amani Awarie, and he is going to be gone. Touchdown. Man, we kind of sold out for the blitz. I thought we'd be able to get there, and our guys wouldn't have to cover forever, but they picked it up nicely, and Tyler Lockett just absolutely just destroyed Awarie there, and that is a touchdown. And so far, this game is not going very well. 10-0 Seattle, and that's a sack in that. Well, I was going to say that was a sack. It's not. He got it, got it off in time, but because of the hit, the ball flutters, and Jordan Brooks is there for the pick. So, yeah, this has just gone from bad to worse, as that will help out a lot, as Kaminsky will get in there for the sack here to end the first quarter. But, man, we got to hold him to three. Man, that, that was obviously not Jared Goff's fault. Nobody's real fault. Just gets hit. 
ball flutters. And then here they come back to DK, who first catch of the ball game, picks up a first down after a third and long. Something we've definitely had problems with this season. First and ten. Lock in the pocket. Over the middle. Lockett's got it. And he is going to be just short of the goal line. Down to the two. Man, this could be a three-score game just like that. Hand off to Walker. Up the middle. Touchdown, Seattle. And the Seahawks are beating us right now. 17-0 here in this second quarter. This is not how I thought this game would go. Man. First and ten. Golf over the middle. DJ Shark with the catch. And that's up to the 39. We're going to need big plays like that for the rest of the game here. First and ten. Hand off. That's, you know, maybe at around three yards. As Amon Ross, St. Brown is going to be a little bit shaken up. He's calling to the sidelines. That's not what you want to see. So third and eight. Golf outside. Hawkinson can't reach him. Incomplete. Bruce Sternum for Amonara St. Brown. He is done for the game. So now Josh Reynolds is going to have to step up. As we're going to have to get a defensive stop here. Now Aleem McNeil is going down. What is going on in this game? Lock looking down the field. And that's going to be incomplete. As dislocated elbow. McNeil is done for the game. So one of our bright spots of this defense this year, and he is done for the game. Third and eight over the middle. That's going to be caught by Noah Fant. But I believe he is going to be stopped just short, and he is. Let's see if they go for it here, though. Nope, they're going to punt it. They're going to trust in their defense. I mean, I would, too. We haven't got anything going here so far. Here's Josh Reynolds with the catch, and he has a first down. So obviously a bigger target has the size. So we'll see what he can do. Hopefully uh, gives us something here for the rest of the ball game. Second and six. Golf rolling out. Fires the Hawkinson underneath. And he'll fall forward. And he has enough for a first down. So with three, about three minutes left in this first half. we got to go down here and get some points on this drive. Now that's a great cutback by Swift. And that's a first down up to the 37-yard line. If we can go down there, get some points. Waste enough time to where Seattle really can't get anything because they will get the ball here to start the second half. This golf runs out of time, and that is going to be a sack. Frankie Louvu in there brings him down back to the 37-yard line, and now a third down and 10. Oh, wide open. Wide open over the middle, Quintez Cephas. That'll be a first down to the 20. Nice job there. Picking up the first down on the third and long. Like I said, just let this clock continue to run. we got plenty of time. we got all three of our timeouts. First and ten. Golf. Firing. Hawkinson. Or we just get the touchdown right now. There's TJ Hawkinson with the score. Our first of the ball game. All right. We're back in it. And we're going to go to halftime down 17-7. to We're only down 10. We gave him that free turnover. Even the pit. Yeah, we gave him the turnover. That's it. Let's get this done in the second half. Let's come back, make a nice comeback victory, feel good going into next week. Chicago Bears going to New York. They have a 17-7 lead at the moment. Daniel Jones, not good. 4 of 11, 54 yards, two picks. As for Minnesota, over there across the pond in London, they get the victory 31-17. They go to 3-1 and one on the season. Dalvin Cook, two touchdowns. Thielen in the TD. Vikings and Packers, who's it going to be? We saw the Vikings. They absolutely destroyed us. We have yet to see Green Bay. We'll see what they can do. First and ten. Start off this second half, and it can't go any better. Let's just see what this penalty is. Holding will absolutely decline that. Great start here to this second half with the sack. And now it's a third and 22 back to the 13. So we can get a quick three and out. That's exactly what we want to see. As Luck moving around the pocket. There you go. That's exactly what we wanted. Now let's get a touchdown here. Get this back to a three-point ball game. Goff looking, pressure, and he goes down. Man, there's nobody open really down the field. Nobody open. Coverage was fantastic. Third and 19. Goff looking. And the pocket runs out of time, and he is going to get that away. But because of the hit, goes nowhere, and we have to punt the ball. Man. I mean, uh, I mean, the offensive line's not doing too bad. I mean, it's not the time isn't that bad. It's just the coverage from Seattle is 
Fantastic. Second and 11 now from the 23. Coming over the edge. Going up top. It's going to be caught, but out of bounds. The pressure leads to that bad throw. So we just got to get more pressure on Drew Locke. Third and 11. There you go. More pressure. And that's completed, but obviously well short. And that is going to quick three and out. So you can see the pressure's a lot better. That's what we want to see. Not allowing him to stand back there and make the throws. So here's Khalif Raymond. Hopefully we can get a good return here. And the ball is loose. It's a fumble. And they're taking it to the house. Seattle. Special teams and defense. Creating turnovers. That's a touchdown. So just like that, 24-7 is the score. And Swift up the middle. Now it's, you know, you still got, you know, a quarter and a half left. You don't want to abandon the run game, but you just can't super rely on it. Even though Swift has been very good, 11 for 70 in this ball game, he's been looking good, but you're just going to have to get quicker drives to get some scores on the board. Second and 10. Golf. That ball is loose. It's picked up by Seattle. Man. This, this is one of the This might be worse than last week. I mean, last week, it, it, it wasn't this bad. We're just playing real bad. As Tyler Lockett's a bit shaken up for Seattle. That's a first down. Also, it's that DK with the catch. So up to the 18. Second and nine. Over the middle. Caught. First down, down to the six, and Seattle is looking to put this up to a 24-point lead. Second and goal, Locke runs out of time. He is hit, just gets rid of it just in time. Maybe hold him to three here. Third and goal, Locke looking in the pocket. Looking plenty of time. Somebody please get him. Somebody, finally, man. That took about 20 years to get him. Finally do, and we'll hold them to three. But it's a three-score game. 27-7. Can we just not turn the ball over? As Cephas fumbles and this one's picked up. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Man, all you can do is laugh about this one right now. That's all you can do. I, I cannot believe that. We are just turning the ball over left and right. We're just pretty much giving like, here you go, Seattle. It's all yours. You want it? It's all yours. Another sack. That's a good one there. Back to the uh, it's Mel Fonu actually coming in and getting the sack. So that is good to see. Field goal attempt here. About 54 yards. So it's not easy, but we're in a dome. As had the distance, but that is well right. So we get a break there. We get a break. We got a chance. Can we just not turn the ball over? Hawkinson with the catch. Finally, somebody holds on to the ball. Third and four. Goff looking. Trying to find somebody over the middle. That's going to be caught. Reynolds, he's got it. I believe that should be enough for a first down. And it is. Move the chains. Here with 35 seconds left in this third quarter. First and 10. Golf firing down the field. Reynolds is open. He's got the catch. And he's going to be in for the touchdown. So that looks pretty good. Josh Reynolds stepping up after Amon Ross St. Brown went down. TD, all right, we're down 13, going into the fourth quarter. Can we get a turnover? I mean, that would be fantastic. If we can get a turnover, that would be great. Second and nine, hand off to Walker. He picks up around three. He's had a decent game so far. Okay. Third and six. Can we get a stop? Lock, looking, firing to the outside. That's going to be incomplete. Melifonwu once again making some plays here. Defense gets the stop. Come on, offense. Let's go. First and ten. Golf firing. That's going to be caught by Reynolds, who has been the man of the game here. Has the catch. First down. Move into Seattle territory. Well, not yet. I thought we were into Seattle territory. Not yet. First and ten. Over the middle. That's not good. And actually, that was a pure mistake. Uh, that was a missed button punch, really. Thought Hawkinson was X, because usually the tight end is X. And that play, they turned into R1. Just totally misread that. That one is, uh, yep, on me, obviously. So, not good. And when things are just not going your way, sometimes in games, they're just not going your way. Second and one. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Thought we had a pretty good stop there. 
And Kenneth Walker just said, I don't think so. Just throw you off. Man. First and goal now from the six. Block him. It's going to be a pick. Anzalone. Read that one. Picked it off. And all right. We'll take it. So if we can somehow get a score here, I mean, somehow we'd only be down six. I don't know how, but we would. First and ten. There's Hawkinson for the catch. And up to the 35-yard line. Yeah, if we somehow get a touchdown here, I don't know how we're only down six in this game. We, the, we've turned the ball over so many times. We should definitely be down by at least 20, maybe 30 points. I mean, it's been awful. Third and four. Golf. And that's not good. That's picked off. Man. Try to go back to the other side. Just miscommunication with the receiver. And that one is going to be picked off and probably will end this ball game. Unless we somehow get a miracle here and get a turnover. Second and 11, Walker, as that is going to be stopped. So, yeah, we can get one more play in here. If we get a stop here, two-minute warning, get the clock stopped. I mean, obviously, we're going to need a miracle in this ball game. Third and 14, they're going at empty set. I'm just totally surprised by that. Yeah, well... Over the middle, Noah Fant just wide open. That's a first down up to the 42-yard line. Two-minute warning. And this ball game is pretty much done for. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. He's, wow. Defensive line just can't hold him up enough. As patience by Walker finds the uh, opening, takes it. First down, and now cuts it right up. Touchdown is pretty much going to seal this one out. As Seattle gets that final touchdown. They would actually go for two as well and get the two-point conversion. And this is going to be a final of 35-14. to 14. This game was abysmal. Not good at all. I thought for sure coming in that we would be a champ. Not, I mean, there's no really favorites between a one and two and a three team. But at least be able to win the game. But when you turn the ball over six times, we got to hang on to the ball. The fumbles in this game were terrible. I would say most, I would say every golf interception wasn't, it just wasn't, I don't know. Sometimes you just like bad throws turn into picks. One was just a miss button. The other one was because of a, you know, he gets hit right before a sack, ball flutters. And that last one. That one was a little off, but still, it's, I don't know. None of them were that bad. Swift ran the ball well, averaging 6.4 carry. And really, sometimes our defense just couldn't, you know, it stepped up in the second half a little bit, but, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter when your ball your team turns the ball over that much. It's just, man. Um, I mean, we ended up with five sacks, but, I don't know, the pressure just, the, the, it's just the front four pressure is not there. You know, when we get the sacks, it's not really yeah, – we're getting nothing from Hutchinson right now so far. But it's it's not like, you know, a front four pressure. You know, where you get kind of like that insta shed from the, def the, the CPU defense where they get through, they get the sack, quarterback's under pressure. We don't get that. If we get a sack, it's because the, because the coverage is covering very well. But still, the quarterback has plenty of time. Or we're just bringing extra blitzers and it's getting through. Other than that, we're not getting a, a regular front four push or pressure. We're just not. And it's not like we're taking on offensive lines that are great. Seattle, I mean, you know, if they're not the greatest offensive line, you were hoping we'd be able to do something against them. In reality, like I said, and it looks good because you get five sacks, but if you really look at those five sacks, we're just not getting pressure. So the front four is... Right now, not looking good. I'm thinking I'm going to switch to a, more of a 4-3 defense. So Lee McNeil is going to be out for three weeks with a dislocated elbow. So that hurts. That hurts for sure. As we're going to go to week number five, we're going to take on the New England Patriots at 2-2. Two and two. So really, going up to New England, I'm not expecting much. I just want to see some improvement. I want to see a nice tightly contested ball game we play a lot better stop turning the ball over and even if we lose make it be like a 17 14 game i would take that all day but 
Got to play better. We got the buy coming up, so maybe we make a move here or there. We'll see. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I do appreciate it. Hit that like button. Subscribe for more Lions franchise coming soon. But I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.